a massive fentanyl bust in New York. Police say more than 40 pounds were seized from a drug mill in the Bronx. Our senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky is here with the latest on the epidemic. Good morning, Aaron. Juju, good morning to you. The country is now awash in fentanyl. It's the most common drug linked to overdose deaths. And the traffickers are becoming so reckless. Enough fentanyl to kill hundreds of thousands of people wound up on the New York City subway at rush hour. This morning, a suspected drug trafficker who authorities say operated this drug mill out of an apartment in the Bronx is under arrest. Authorities say they seized 40 pounds of fentanyl, enough to kill a million people. And prosecutors say many of those potentially lethal doses were found in this roller bag the alleged trafficker had taken onto the subway. It's completely reckless for these traffickers to be moving this poison in this fashion. They put a lot of New Yorkers at risk. The DEA says the drug mill was just blocks from the daycare where a one-year-old died and three other children had to be revived with Narcan after they were exposed to fentanyl. Investigators say they found bricks of the drug on top of playmats and beneath a trap door in the floor. Law enforcement sources tell ABC News the owner, who's among several people now charged in the boy's death, had pulled her own toddler out of her daycare, fearing he would be exposed to fentanyl. The woman's husband, who authorities say was seen in these surveillance images fleeing down a back alley, was caught in Mexico. He's now back in the U.S. and facing federal charges. In Portland, Oregon, police issuing a warning about a concerning number of juvenile fentanyl overdoses in recent months. Five children have died, including a five-year-old earlier this month. In San Francisco, the father of a 10-month-old said his baby overdosed on fentanyl at a playground and had to be revived with Narcan. We want Americans to know that fentanyl is lethal and it's killing Americans at record and catastrophic rates. The mayor of New York has announced plans to convene a summit next week calling fentanyl one of the greatest public health crises of our time. Michael? You're right about that, Aaron. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.